Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Now, before I do the video, I actually want to plug my book real fast. I actually just finished the Church of Fuck You Bible. Here it is. A number of people was asking me to write it, write a Bible for the church. I actually wrote the shit. So, check it out. I'm going to post a link of how to you know, order it under the description of the video so you can actually see it and click on it. And it's a preview section so you can flip through a couple of pages and see how it is. Um, here it is. This is the front. This is the back. I don't know if she's still zoomed in or not, but this is the front. That's the back. This is the front. Um, just check the shit out and let me know what you think. Alright, now on to the video. Now, there have been a number of parents, and as a matter of fact, there's a case going on right now where the parents have decided not to take their sick children to the hospital because they believe that God is going to heal them. Eventually, the child dies. Now, as an atheist and, you know, non-believer, most of us, well, all of us, really believe that believing in a fairy tale God that's going to heal your child is utter bullshit. But what's funny to me is that there are actually Christians out here who are giving these families, you know, all kinds of grief and are outraged because they didn't take their child to the doctor. Now, let me get this straight. You believe in a religion where your God is the ultimate healer. You believe in a religion where your God can heal all sicknesses and illness, do all these magical, wonderful things. Jesus, he was quote unquote famous for healing all these people and, you know, healing the sick and even raising the dead and all this shit. But you give people shit in your same little club for believing that a God can, you know, cure a common cold or cure pneumonia or cure whatever else is ailing the children. Now, what I don't understand is Christians always give people shit for not believing. But now these people will believe. Now they really fucking believe. They believe to the point where they're willing to gamble their child's life. And now Christians are like, what the fuck is your problem? You don't believe that goddamn much. Now, to me, if you're going to be all in on a religion, be all in on a religion. If that means now going to the doctor, don't take your punk ass to the doctor because you believe your God can heal sickness or illness or whatever the hell else is ailing you. So... If we come to the place and point now where Christians don't fully believe to the point that they're willing to risk their life, that means Christianity now has become just a convenience, which most of us with any kind of knowledge already knew. But I just don't understand how any Christian can give another Christian shit for actually believing and following the Bible. I mean, if you feel like your God can't deliver on the promises that he quote unquote set forth in his book, what the fuck are you following that God for? Now... I personally don't know what should happen to these parents. Maybe they, they should go to jail, whatever the case may be. I don't know. I'm kind of undecided on it. I think it's fucked up that the child died, obviously. But, I mean, they're in an idiotic faith with idiotic beliefs. What do you expect to happen? Idiotic shit things, you know, idiotic things are going to fucking happen. That's just what happens. So, I don't kind of know, you know, what to do with these parents. Personally, a uh, part of me is like, you know what? Fuck it, Christians. All y'all stop going to the doctor. All y'all believe Jesus can heal you. I mean, he healed a blind man with spit. Obviously, he can heal you from whatever infection or fungus or whatever the hell else you have. He can do that shit, right? So keep your punk ass out of the doctor so maybe we can get an appointment in less than three and a half months. But, and I say this, you know, as a human, I would never want to see a child to die because some stupid ass person decided to get on his knees and pray instead of take his ass to the doctor. And for all these Christians who all say stupid shit like, well, you know, God uses doctors too. Supposedly, he doesn't. I've never heard Jesus say, you know what, you're sick, you're, oh, I'm sorry, I never read Jesus, you know, in the book, talking about Jesus saying, you know, oh, you're sick, you're hurt, you're dying, you know what, but go take this prescription, go to the pharmacy, get yourself some pills, and you'll be all right. No, supposedly, everybody was healed just from believing in him, you know, from calling on his name. So if that's what you fuckers believe, stay your punk ass home and believe it, so we don't have to wait 45 minutes just to get signed in at the ER, because you motherfuckers are all filled up in it. Either way, I'll leave you with this. Either believe it or don't. I personally, I don't give a shit. As long as you don't push your beliefs on me. Either believe it or don't. But don't give people shit for believing a fairy tale book when your punk ass is pushing the same fairy tale book. Alright man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'll see you later.